Hello sports fans and welcome to the first in our Nissan Leaf hacking series. Uh, some of you may know I've recently purchased a Nissan Leaf. It's a 2011 model and uh, we're going to be doing some hacking and some parts usage for our Panzer project. So, first thing we want to do is we want to be able to capture some Chidemo CAN data see exactly how the um, OEM guys do it. So, in order to do that, we need to tap into the Chidemo CAN bus. So, this is the procedure that I'm kind of following here. And, uh, big thanks to Dave, D to Dave. Dave, he's in the U U UK for some of the uh, captures that he's done and also uh, for some of the tips of what I'm about to do now. So, first things first, we get rid of some plastic clips here and we get shot of this piece of plastic trim. Now, once we get that out of the way, we've got a much clearer view of our uh, fast charging port back here. And the signal lines come in um, on a nice cable here and there's a multi-pin plug so I just released from the body uh, with a few clips and we get this nice uh, male multi-pin plug here um, that's the body clip and I just pinched that with a long nose pliers thank you very much Harbour Freight and uh, we now have some male pins here which are connected to the pins on our uh, Ch demo port so the next thing we need to do is we've got to get our can high and our can low uh, identified on this harness so we can tap into them. Alright, so I just grabbed a multimeter and put it on continuity test. And we know from our previous Chidemo uh, experiences that the can lines are the two guys here. So I'm going to stick this into one of them see if we can identify it on our multi-pin plug here. There we go. There's one of our can lines and that is a blue wire. So, yeah, that's blue wire here on the plug. Is that a plain blue wire? Looks like it. So that's one of our can lines, not sure which one, but I'll look up a diagram in a minute. Let's go to the second one. There it is, right beside it. Uh, so it looks like the blue and the yellow. So I'm going to get you guys a close look at this uh, connection here. And we'll get a diagram so you'll be able to see which wire is which. Alright, so I'm trying to get you guys in as close as I can to this plug here. And just looking at my diagram here, I've got the multimeter on. And bearing in mind, of course, that this is the plug I'm looking at. So this would be pin 9 of our Chidemo. So pin 9, which is can low. Can low is. Where is Can Low? Ooh! Can Low is when I kicked the tripod. Okay, so Can Low I think was the blue wire, was it? Or was it the yellow wire? Sorry. Yellow wire. So in this connector, uh, Can Low is our yellow wire. Yeah. Can Low is yellow. Just change it over and just double check my diagram. So pin 8 is this one here. Pin 8 is can high. So let's move over to that one. Pin 8 is can high. And uh, I think that's the blue wire. Yeah, it's not connecting to anything else, which it shouldn't. Just to be sure. Yeah. So the blue and the yellow are your CAN bus, folks. So pin 8. Pin 8 is CAN high and it's blue. Okay, now we just got to tap into the damn thing and reconnect that plug. 
and we should have some canvas. Tweet tweet. So another another good way for us to know if we're actually on the canvas here is that my uh, blue and my yellow wires are actually twisted together. So that means we got a canvas. Of course, it doesn't always mean that, but it's a pretty good sign. Uh, I've also got some wire made up here, which I've also twisted, I've got a black and a purple. Just used a cordless drill trick just to uh, twist these guys up. So um, it is a 500k bus, so the next thing that we need to do is to tap in here. And uh, what I'm going to do for that, I think, do you know what I'm going to do before I do any of that? I'm going to close this thing because it's in my way. That's a lot better. All right. Now, so my blue and my yellow. So I've got my little battery powered soldering iron here. So I'm going to pretty much just break in here and solder on my wires, uh, tape it up, and uh, it should be all set. I want to do as little damage to these wires as I can because obviously I want to reuse this uh, socket in the Panzer. So let's see what we can do here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but I'll do my best for you. Uh, kind of evening time, so the light isn't fantastic. Probably for filming. I'm just going to nick off a bit of that insulation there. That's really all I want to do. I do have a nice sharp snip, which helps. There we go. some of that insulation from that wire. I'm sure there's other ways we could do it, but I do have some of those telecoms uh, style um, oh they're uh, kind of a bed of nails test pin type of thing that we could use, but I want this to be semi-permanent because I want to be able to log um, various charging points, so then I've got to, we've got to get away then to get a USB cable from here into the firewall, so that's going to be fun games, I'm sure. I don't think uh, Nissan exactly had that in mind when they were putting this tin can together. So now, yeah. and I've never used that battery powered soldering iron either. Picked it up in Dublin at the weekend, so a review online for a very similar one so here's hoping it's actually uh, fairly decent a little bit more of that insulation away probably get a finer snip for this yay there we go yeah, I'm not doing too badly for a muppet yeah this car kind of came at the right price at the right time so um, I just basically grabbed it and we're going to have a lot of fun. There we go, got that insulation stripped back off that yellow wire, which is our can low. And we're going to connect our black tap wire to that. I'm just going to twist it around it, like so. And I'm probably going to keep this mod on here even when I put it in the Panzer because uh, we're going to want to be able to um, we're going to want to be able to log the CAN bus as well as actually sending it to our JLD 505 so you have three AA batteries in this little thing you got to hold the button for 30 seconds and apparently you're good to go so let's see what happens got some smoke that's a good sign Oh yeah, that's melting solder. Nice. Let's see if he's got enough power just to do a simple little uh, wire splice. Ooh, something happening here. What it is is not exactly clear. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There. My battery powered soldering iron is a piece of crap. It doesn't, it doesn't appear to be very um, 
um, but it's what I'm trying to do here, guys. I guess the one that I spotted the review of must have been a different one. Yeah, this is making a real mess. Just doesn't, it seems to be able to melt solder on the tip, alright, but when I actually touch it up against the wire to try to transfer some heat into it so I can solder the wire. Uh, yeah, it's just basically coming up short on it, it's just cooling off. Um, so, there you go. Well, okay then. Don't buy this. Don't buy this. Okay. Better go get the real one. Okay, so we've got a real soldering iron this time, but I might have been a little bit harsh on my little battery powered friend. So I think that was that lead free nonsense. So I'm going to give it another shot, but I've got my trusty mains back up here uh, just in case it doesn't quite cut the mustard. So this is our blue wire on the leaf, which is can high. We're connecting that to purple here on our tap lead. Yeah. Let's see what happens. It still seems to go cold when I'm trying to solder this. It just, yeah, it just doesn't have the welly. So, okay, back to the original statement. Don't buy that thing. Sorry, that thing, but you're just not up to the task. Job done. Oops. So now we gotta tape up that wire there. Make sure we've none of those nasty shorts going on. Now we can put it all back into this little bit of uh, this little bit of uh, trunking here. And uh, would be funny to bring this in for a service though. Haven't had a problem with the fast charging port. Yeah. Yeah, the problem with this tape it never quite wants to do what I want it to do. Or it wants to do what it wants to do. Oh dear. I don't know. Straighten it out. I remember doing car loom wire when I was younger. It's kind of an art. Uh, not one that I ever mastered, I'm afraid. Alright. There we go. Look at that. Practically factory. So let's get that back in there. Put that in there. I'm going to retape this uh, part of the loom here. I'm just going to retape the conduit and retape this bit here. Don't have to go too crazy, but just enough to keep out any environmentals. to the vehicle harness. I've got some insulation upstairs I can uh, run around that if I want to but it's not like there's an exhaust manifold in here or a set of HT leads that I need to be uh, worrying about. So see if I can see that Japanese cars uh, are Quite well packed. Let's see if I can get that connection in there. Yay! 
in. And if I re-snap it onto the body here, we should be just about all set. Yeah. All the fun of the fair, isn't it? I mean, all this hacking stuff, it's not about, you know, it's not all about the fun and the big headlines, is it? Yeah, it's more about the mundane stuff as usual. Here we go. There we are. Alrighty. That is back in. We are tapped in and ready to rock and roll. As I said in Die Hard 2, all systems tap, Colonel. So, let's get this guy hooked in here. And uh, I'm going to get a bit of insulation around that. There's a bit of body work there and start uh, chafing on that pretty much straight away. So I'm going to do that, but we got our Chidemo Canvas, sports fans. Stay with us. Okay, so we've got our Candui set up. We've got a 9 pin D connector. Got my power and my ground on a separate wire. And I've brought my CAN bus uh, in here on the CAN high and the CAN low terminals. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'll disconnect that D connector. I'm going to just tape this up um, just to keep it all nice and neat. The advantage of using the D connector here is that I can very easily swap the uh, swap the card between the two cars. Uh, so we can log with the leaf. Just come along, unplug this guy, unplug the USB. Um, I've got it velcroed in on the land yacht. And I'll velcro it in here too. And we'll pretty much be uh, able to just swap the board uh, between the yacht and the leaf. And we should be all set really. Um, pretty straightforward then. And we'll go visit a charge station. So all I got left to do is uh, just going to put a fuse on the battery there. Um, so I can get my uh, power and ground. And uh, we're all set guys, so um, let's see that on there. So just before I were to try to power it up, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just double verify with a multimeter uh, that I have these pins right so that my black is my ground. My red is my 12 volts. So, very easy to do that on the Candui. Because we already have the terminal block there. Uh, for also, gives us the ability to use uh, CAN1 and also 12 volts on ground. So, that's going to grab my 12 volt line here on my uh, cable. Let's go here 12 volts. Indeed, that is 12 volts. And uh, ground here. There we go. That's us, guys. So, alright, I'm going to get a fuse rigged up and uh, we'll put some 12 volts to this thing. But uh, we'll be back then when we're, um, well, when we're actually getting it uh, installed into the car and getting a USB cable uh, rigged up to the thing. So, stay with us, folks, with a more leaf. Can hacking and Chedemo hacking to come.